I grew up writing songs like I was talking about kind of as a way to understand life, to talk to the Lord, to like, it just was kind of started happening. I, I was turning into a songwriter in my high school years where that was what I wanted to spend my time on late at night and all of that. So it began as something that I did a lot by myself. And then what's been sweet about these past really like seven or eight years has been learning to collaborate, learning that this girl can write. I mean, Taylor's gonna write like the biggest song. I always say this, but I'm just dead serious. The girl has it in her to write a hit song and in many ways has written so many songs that mean so much to so many people all around the world already. So it's not about having a hit or something like that. I just am trying to be like, She's amazing at songwriting. I'm a better songwriter by learning to collaborate with her. She's a very good lyricist. So like one thing that I've been leaning into even more, is like I might write a whole song by myself, but I come to Taylor and I'm kind of like, how can these lyrics be better? And the sharpening of that and just learning. Yeah, everybody brings different gifts and all of that. So I started out more writing by myself and I'm learning to write more collaboratively. And it's been awesome and really, really good for me. So yeah. Yeah, I think when you're talking about writing with your friends, so that's not something, I think we both started out, I only wrote by myself. And then I was, you know, well into my 20s before I ever really started writing with other people. And there are definitely like some challenge, some awesome things about writing with other people, some challenges. Yep. And so going into it, um, I've, I've heard every good songwriter say this, like, to be a good co-writer, and I'm saying I'm like saying this to myself because it's hard for me sometimes. But going in with a really open mind, so it's hard to collaborate with other people, especially if you're just writing with like one of your other friends. And then let's say you don't agree on something, and then you're just kind of like, totally. well, I think my idea is better. No, I think my idea is better. And how do we figure out? Like, it can be helpful to even maybe write with like write in a group of three or three a group great, of four. Yeah. And just maybe go in with an idea that you like check in your in yourself, like, hey, are you willing to collaborate on this? Does it feel too personal? Does it feel too? But if it's something you're like, you know what, I'd love to write about, man, I love, um, I love this one verse, like in the Psalms, and I just think I could hear this set to music. Like, if you could go into that, bring in a friend or two who maybe, like, to Jess's point, like find someone who has a different, oh, I like, I wanna write with this person because they have a skill that maybe, like they have a strength that I don't have or whatever. And then say, hey, would you be willing to like do this? Or if you have a friend who is like maybe more a producer or like, I know, I don't know, can build a track or play the drums or like come up with like a beat. Like I, I feel like there's a lot of ways you can jump in and just go like, let's see what we can make and then just know that the goal of like, when you're spending time with your friend writing, the goal doesn't have to be, we leave this hang with like the song finish, right. but like that hopefully you had a great time. Hopefully you were kind to each other. Hopefully you feel like, man, that like, that was, we, we bonded. We like learned about each other. And that would be to me always a successful code, right? Totally. Like still now when I'm writing with like, people who do this for a living, I think if I leave like, and I like them more and they like me more and we kind of connected and we were open, then like, that was a great, that was a great session. Yep. Maybe next time we'll finish the song. Right.